Well, good evening everyone. I've been meaning to do this for the last couple weeks, but I haven't had any free time. Tonight, I'm gonna shoot some arrows, so I figured I'd run through this real quick. I recently picked up a new set of broadheads, a three pack of the Annihilator 125s. These aren't the XLs, these are just the standard size. I like the way they look, they're not super bulky. But my favorite thing about these broadheads is that there's no cutters, there's no bleeders, there's no interchangeable blades. It's just one solid head, very simple design, and they fly out of the box just like your field point. There's no tuning necessary, and they're extremely sharp. I've been shooting them into my um, foam target down here at about 40 yards, and they pull out like butter. So anyway, I'm going to shoot a couple groups at 40, switch between the broadhead and a field point, so you guys can see that I'm not full of crap. These things are very impressive. So if you're in the market for some new broadheads or want to try something new, I would highly recommend these uh, annihilators. Anyway, take a look. Okay, first up, field point, 40 yards. Just a touch high. Okay, 125 annihilator. Just a touch right. Not a bad group though. I'll walk you up there so you guys can take a look at how close these arrows are to each other. Alright, walk up to the target real quick just so I can show you guys. First two arrows of the night, so no excuses, but a little stiff. Anyway, no one cares when you're hunting, so you got to make them count when you get your opportunity. The point is, they fly just like each other. Check it out. Not a bad group for 40. So anyway, I think you get the point. And then real quick, I figured I'd show you how sharp they are just so you gotta get a general idea of what you're buying. So this is a field point here. And here's the annihilator stuck into the elk too. It's butter, extremely sharp. If you're in the market for a new broadhead or wanna do some tinkering, definitely give these a try.